this is my vision. Right here is where I want to build a bridge because it makes it easy to cross and I'm going to have my base on top of that bridge. Then underneath the base, we're going to have a bunker where all my good loot is going to be hidden underwater. Now on top of that, I'm going to have turrets protecting this and lights to make it pretty. And it's going to have a trap. This video is brought to you by manscaped.com and they've just released a new collection of anti-chafing boxer briefs. Yes, that's right, anti-chafing boxer briefs. And I'll tell you what, when I first heard about this, I was a bit apprehensive. I have the boxes I like. My girlfriend bought them for me, name brand, but these are better, but don't tell her. Go conservative with the all black pack. Go bold with the new black and gold waistbands. Keep it class with the gray or pinstripe design or make a statement with this gold nugget number. You also have the option to select single units or bundle up and save with their three pack options sold exclusively at manscaped.com. Let's not forget the performance package bundle, which comes with the lawnmower 4.0 waterproof ball trimmer. Yeah, ball trimmer. And then after you're done with that, you can apply the crop preserver ball deodorant, which actually smells quite nice. Manscaped's a brand that I'm very happy to be sponsored by. I use all their products. To get yourself over to manscaped.com, use my code SEBIK here at checkout and get 20% off plus free international shipping. We pick up exactly where we left off. You could say I've come in and made a bang. I've evicted three of my neighbors around the lake and I've started the construction of my base in the middle of the water. The one concerning issue is the clan on top of the hill, they're big, have found me. And that's why we ended the last video. It's not vital to the story that you see it, but it will give you the full context as to how we got here. And well, it's definitely a good story. Oh, come on. And I can't even get a gun to fight them. It's a bit hard to see, but he's got a rocket launcher on his back and they were on their way to go raiding. I've actually done fucking well, guys. There's so much loot in here. I was coming to the end of day one of my wipe and it was time to move all the loot over. I was fully committing to my water base. I just wanted to secure the loot properly. Okay. Now they don't know that I've armored that bit. Having a Windows weakness, it's an eye into the base and it shows them that it's armored. So I didn't want them to know that my core was armored because it screams, hey, he's rich. So I'm just securing in a way that they'll only notice once they start raiding, if they should start raiding. The base looks fully stoned from the outside. What do we think of the design, guys? Oh, there's one thing I wanted to try. Oh, you can't do it? You can do it. So it has to be on a door frame. So... like that that's kind of funny i like that i like that a lot well there we go guys we have underground underwater bunker 4000 stone 600 ml 29 hqm we can put that straight in before i logged off for the night i moved the best of my loot underwater or box near it with fishing rods and bait in it so that people think oh, that's smart issue is guys i have to go Five hours later, I decided I'm going to quickly check what's going on before I go to bed because if I've been raided, I want to know so I can sleep peacefully. The base across from me was decaying and some people were investigating, so I came to see what was going on. Talk about being task focused. They have no idea I'm here. You're a little dirty bitch. I decided to come back with a gun to see if I could make a play. I had a couple of custom SMGs in my base and I don't regard them as a good gun, so I came back again, not caring if I lost it. They were now all fully geared, so I cut my losses and logged off for the night. I'll come back the next day, hoping I wasn't raided and ready to complete my base.
Okay, we're not being raided, which is amazing. Let's have a look outside. We're still intact. That clan base is decayed. Today we're going to finish the bridge completely. Yeah, okay. It's been ransacked. I saw the guys last night checking out this base. Maybe we can secretly use the ore refinery. Anyway, let's check out what's on this island as well. The guys that were raiding this base were coming from this direction. So I'm just... I was on last... I popped on to make sure I had been raided last night. And then I tried to kill them. I lost a couple of customs. They ran this direction, but I don't think that's their, that's not their base. Okay, this island though, un, or not island, but this past the mainland is full of trees. This is perfect for us. So we're going to need a lot of wood. This could be them. Or is this decaying? Oh, you're decaying. Of course, it's a penis. Of course, unless they are, oh, unless they move to there. This looks more likely. Closed door. Oh, doors left open, guys. Do we do we start the day off with just a smashing ten satchels on this base? What do you guys think? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's check out our GP situation. We actually have a fair bit of resources. Low on the wood front. Okay, we definitely need to do a wood. Oh, okay. No, we got wood. Get yeah, the furnaces going. Okay, all the furnaces are going because I got a badass base. Check out our little underwater bunker. We still got loads more stuff down here. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to pimp out this bunker. It's going to be bigger and better in so many ways. That can all come up now. Well, we definitely have enough for 10 satchels. I'll tell you that much. Start crafting them. 10, 20, 30, 40. That's enough for 10. All right, cue nervous music. Fuck me. I was like, why am I just... really didn't want to have to use that? Right, I'm down to one med already. Right, guys. I know this design. That fits there. Doesn't. So that could be jump up there. So we're basing off the fact that this is the jump up. There's, yeah, there's a hole there. That fits on there. That fits in there. Doesn't fit up there. Doesn't fit up there. So we're blowing through here. Basically, the garage door means nothing now because, yeah. One dud. Gordon Ranch, you're doing well today. Yeah. That's armored. Jam. I think these are the boys I saw yesterday and they have AKs. I think. What we'll do is we'll, we'll quickly go do a sulfur. We'll do a sulfur wood farm. Get all that smelting and we'll come in eco raid up and left with a jackhammer and like a plan but we're going to quickly farm use the use the purity farm the shit out of this island hopefully they're offline they if it's the guys i think i think it is they were online last night raiding i might have enough guys i think i've got enough for another 10 satchels i might actually have enough let's just have a look broken chainsaw there's 1000 gp there We'll have a thousand in a second and 750. That's 86, 860, 1860. Annoys me I started this raid now. I got advanced all tea, basic wood tea, basic all tea. Hold on. Pure, pure ore, advanced wood, basic wood. Basic ore, advanced ore. 
I need to research a chainsaw, which is also really important. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. 2200. What do we need? 2400, right? I'm gonna go hit one bloody node or two. Two, two nodes is all I need to hit, right? 300. Yeah, I just need to hit two nodes. We won't use a T yet. Two nodes. I've never utilized berries so much as well, guys. On one sulfur node. Show me the sulfur. I see it. I see the node. This clan kills me. I'll cry. This area is huge in sulfur. It makes me happy. Fuck off, bugs. You know what? I'm going to start keeping bugs. We'll go fishing in the in our base. Another sulfur node. Don't get greedy, Seb. Look at the nodes here. And they're smelting furnaces. I'm leaving. I am leaving. Please no raid me. A friendly. Please no raid. No, thank you. We're close to make. Okay, we need a. We're so close to making an advanced a pure wood tea. Right, sulfur smelting. Let's go. Right, let's get crafting 10 satchels. Oh, guys, it's, it's a good start to the stream already. I'm feeling motivated. We just need to go do a recycle run, which actually sucks because that's dangerous. 36. We're four bean cans short, which we'll have in no time. What oh, does it fit on there? Are you you kind of want it poking through the door if you can. If it pokes through the door, yeah, like that. Yeah, then they're going to know that I fish. Look at that. We put the worm in there and they go, oh, he's a fisherman. We won't raid that door. <laughs> we have an underwater car bunker. All right. I've got 10 satchels. Let's go through the roof because if we've been door camped. You guys nervous for me? I'm nervous. Don't be sealed. Okay, good. I'm actually really nervous about missing this. So I'm just going to do one at a time like that. It's weird how satchels splash, but they don't splash. Does that, you know? Oh, no fucking way. No, f are you fucking kidding me? I need something. To oh my God, the scrap. I need something to destroy TC now. I did not expect this. Explosive ammo. Yes, we got it. Holy fuck. Oh my god, holy fuck. These are the guys from last night. Ivory, Rebecca, no, is it? Ivory, Rebecca, Ronaldo, Yoshi, Alvina. It's them. Fuck you, kids. I got you. Look at the HQM. I need to deal with bags. Is there a jack? I need a jackhammer. I'll do. Before I kill them, I deal with the bags. Oh, C4. This is huge. Okay, I just use hatchet. Oh, wow, that's nice. It looks like they might have died in a PvP fight or something. Crap. Oh, I'm gonna save the scrap actually. I'm gonna save it. Oh, we got. Oh, look at the sulfur as well.
Rocket blueprint. Learn. Explosive blueprint. Learn. Oh, yeah. Come on. Why are there no doors in core? You fucking idiots. Right. Um, I'm not actually done securing. Oh, sneaky sleeper there. This core is so... This is so fucking juicy, guys. This has been one of my strongest wipes. Furnaces are full of sulfur. Look at the sulfur. Oh, my God. Well, we made profit, guys. That is for sure. Oh, my God, guys. Look at the sulfur. So we're going to go up. I just need to secure this in case they come. Why they didn't do this, I don't know. So now we're... We're secured in case I open up completely. And guys, if you're enjoying this series, don't forget to subscribe. All right, here we go, guys. Oh my god, how many people are in this clan? What the fuck? Oh my god. Bye bye, Jacqueline. Versi, you dead. Oh, another 375 scrap. One, two more people and two more bags. Fridge got food. Furnace is empty. Shotgun trap. So that's the way in. Oh my God. I'm so excited to check these boxes. Okay, guys. I actually have full control of this base now. Once I put this door down here, this is our base. Okay. Auto turret. We already have one of those. We have a lot of those. Faulty. Another. Ah, oh, your chainsaw. Nice. Another rocket launcher. These guys must have found a decayed base or something. Or well, they got it from that clan base. Two rows of metal. Yes, please. Oh my god, a box of metal ore. Some words. Yeah. More GP. Guns. More wood. 50 explosive ammo. Satchels. Oh, more scrap. Fuck me. Is that everything? Yeah, that was everything. All right, let's get researching because we need to research a lot. Explosive ammo we want to research. I need a tier two. Do they, they don't have a tier two here. She search like could come good for the bridge. We'll keep that. Learn that. Research explosive. Oh no, stop. No, I've already researched it. Why is it let me research it? No. Cancel abort. Ah! Rocket. So I just want one rocket launcher. Whoops, I fucked up big there. Still got 1300 scrap, but we need to research stuff back home. Let me go outside, check if anyone's camping, and then we're going to transfer the first load. Actually, that's a lie. We're not going to transfer the first load. We're going to make the bridge so we don't get stuck in the water. The first thing we'll do is we'll upgrade a bit the bridge. Okay, chainsaw research. Okay, let's go do this bridge now. We'll finish the bridge. Then we can transfer the loot properly and safely. Just like the day before, it was a great start. I was now able to continue building my bridge and then I'll transfer the loot. The only reason I raided them was because I saw that open garage door, even though it actually had nothing to do with the raid in the end. I need scuba gear. Oh, you got fucked up. Gee, never mind. I just had the boat entrance to the side there. I've used up literally that was all the stone. I went back to grab another load of resources. This time, these resources were far more important. Stacking everything. I was crafting tool cupboards and metal doors with the frags and the wood that I had, and therefore I could carry even more things. But if I got killed, I would explode and everything would pop out. I need a gun to save me now. Let's do it. That would be the perfect time to door camp me. Problem is I've made my bridge now an active bridge so anyone could cross it at this right at this, right this moment one two three four five hundred and sixty hqm one two three fuck me on the gp right nobody crossing my bridge <sighs> right i think uh, we need to go to our bunker to store some of this shit Yeah, we need to learn Gary. Oh my god, I'm overflowing. Right. 
No, the metal fell through. Oops. Let's get researching. Thousand scrap. We want garage door. We got garage door. We're going to want some electrical components for the trap as well. Generator, we need. I want laser. Got it. I spent the next little bit securing my base a bit more with garage doors and making the loot rooms more efficient because, well, quite frankly, I had no space. I really want to HQM this out a bit. Makes me nervous though. The decoy box with the worm. With the bridge beginning to take shape, that night I did the last of the loot runs. It was another four or five loot runs to transfer all the loot, but I eventually got it all over. I'm set for the rest of the wipe. Now I want to trap some people in this bridge as well. Just as my uh, goggles ran out. It was then time to get to work on the underwater bunker, and this was going to be epic. It wouldn't be secure if it was stone, so I had to upgrade it all to metal. Got a honeycomb in the bottom. Does that work? I think that works. There you go, guys. We have an underwater badass loot room. Can you do a garage doors underwater? You can. We have a, we have a very secure underwater loot room. He plays shotgun traps underwater as well. Put it there. At least in case it might in case they door camp, it might give me the advantage. Right. I said I was gonna go farming now, right? I want somewhere to store. All my loot. Anticipating a lot of loot because I had pure ore tees and I had advanced wood tees, I created an external loot room that I could quickly drop loot into instead of having to go all the way into my base. The only thing we're not going to farm is metal ore because metal we got shit ton of. Right, here we go. Drinking the pure ore tea. And let's go. 30 minutes. If we die, we can't get more farm, but we want to get loads of stone now and metal. Sulfur, sorry. Now, I spent the next half an hour farming. I didn't die, and this is what I got. It was very successful. And it, it's just finished as well. So, I farmed one, two, three boxes of stone and two and a bit rows of metal and sulfur ore on one pure ore tea. That's pretty epic. And with all of that, I was able to finish the bridge. Okay, now, Wow, we did it. What do you want me to prioritize on, guys? Finish the trap or go for a little explore first? All right, we're going to a little explore. Okay, but I will get the furnaces going. All right, the furnaces are kind of going. It really was beginning to take shape and I was loving it. However, I wasn't anywhere near finished. You are my stallion. I think that base is new. I'm not sure. Should we go see Samuel's home? Now, if you don't remember Samuel, allow me to remind you, this was the previous video and he's a dirty supermarket camper. I eco raided him while he was online AFK. And I have to say, he's mostly the reason why I've got the start I got. He's AFK. Hey, Samuel. What are you doing, Samuel? Are you back online? You want to get eco-rated? Oh, yes. 
You're gonna go roof camp. If you roof camp, you get raided. Get off your roof. Yeah, there he is. Come on, poke that fucking bolt out again. Fuck it. I'm coming back with ladders and eight satchel explosive ammo and satchels. Fuck this kid. We're gonna online raid. Nail gun? Where's he going? A nail gun. What's what's decaying? Stone's decaying. It was nearly 24 hours later from me eco raiding him. He's barely rebuilt, but he's done just enough to get a SAR and done a lot of roof camping with it. Samuel's sole purpose in life is to roof camp. Where'd you get that from? You tried to seal me in. Smart. Why didn't you just try and kill me with the D? Where's he getting these guns from? He must have another base. It's him. Look, he's got another gun. Fuck off, man. He's got two camping bases and he's annoyed. There you go. See, guys? Roof camper gets mad. Fuck him. And this is where I'm going to ask you guys, what do you think? Do we feel sorry for Samuel? Should I leave him alone? Turret. These are for turrets, guys. On the roof. Turret there. Turret there. Here. All the turrets. Okay, so what turrets are gonna go? Now let's get the windmill up. Yes. Both batteries are hooked up now. Okay, with that done, guys, we now need to get enough scrap to research turrets so we can craft enough turrets, which means we need to go on a recycle run. Right, let's go on this little recycle run. If that dickhead Samuel interferes with my recycling, we're going to make rockets come straight back. Isn't this bridge beautiful, guys? It's beautiful. I like it. Guys, once we get the turrets up and running, we're going to place automated lights. And once we have automated lights, we're going to hook up the door controllers and we're going to start the trap. Fucking wolves. I hate them so much. he's back on the roof that must have been him i'm telling you guys he's all right see he's so dangerous to come recycling scared the shit out of me raid him again he's got nothing though he, he just gets enough resources to craft one gun. That's all he does. Um, turret was the most important thing to research. So there's a turret. We need to make a shop to sell that. Turret, 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 turret. Lots of turrets. Have I learned turret before? No. Researching. I need to research Python as well. Python, Python, Python. There's one, two...
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six turrets on one windmill should be fine, right? Down here can have a stack and a half. Now that I've got Taurus protecting my base, I deemed it necessary to armor my core, which is now done as you can see. Listen for it. Yeah, turned on. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine turrets in our current base. I need to learn door controller, which means we need to go on another little run. We need to go get some more scrap. It is there in the base again. Have the horse blocking him. He's right there. Look, 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 look. look at him. He's such a dick. Get off your roof. Every time I come to recycle, he gets on his roof. Now I'm gonna watch out for Aro because he come he comes when he hears uh, shooting. He's shooting my horse. shooting my horse making me angry that's a different direction it's coming from where is it coming from is it that base oh i got it stuck you want to get raided do you want to get raided do you like your base no oh. i want to let him build up a little bit before i fuck him up Right, we, we need wood. We need to get furnaces going because we're going to run out of everything very quickly. So we're going to go on a wood farm. Advanced wood tea. Oh, it's gonna, this is going to be insane. Advanced wood tea. What is our upkeep on this base? 20k stone a day. 5,000 metal, 100 HQM. That's not too bad. That's It could be worse. 20k stone. That's 20 nodes. Why did I bring the low grade? And drink. Let's see if we last this tea. Let me tell you this, guys. A chainsaw with an advanced wood tea is insane. I didn't even finish the tea. I got bored after filling four boxes of wood. Good. Sun is coming up. Right. So when the heartbeat sensor goes off, I was now setting up the trap portion of the base. And the way it works is simple. The heartbeat sensor would detect someone and then close every single door in the bridge. And I'd be leaving every door in the bridge open. And I'd have a button I could reset it from inside. That should work. Just before we get into trouble, I'm going to bring all the wood in and stone and put it in our bunker. What do you keep in your super secret vault? Wood. <laughs> I'm just moving loot in. My super secret vault's going to have a lot of stuff. And we've got one full of stone. Another one with stone. Wood. Oh, we got what wood two with wood two with fucking stone and this one obviously the trap is set if any anybody decides to venture in we'll, we'll trap them um we raided that base we've raided i don't know who this is but i haven't really seen them And we got a tier two to place. My God. This bridge is awesome. Um, the idea is to let people cross the bridge, but I've chosen such 
a tier three quiet area that there's literally no one around. So I've kind of shot myself in the foot. It's a submarine. I don't see them very often. With my bridge fully set up and my Taurus protecting me, it was now time for me to log off. However, the way the base looks would definitely draw attention, so it was not guaranteed I'd have a base to wake up to. Okay. Day three. And we have not been raided. Now, there's a new guy I've just seen in the water here. Who's given you permission to live on my lake? Good morning, everyone. I then went to check on Samuel, but both Samuel's bases had decayed, so I assume he'd left the server in disgust. And on the way home, I noticed a new base which had an armored door on it, so I was thinking I should raid that. But first things first, a quality of life improvement, some automated lights in my base. Fury, can we get a light in here? Do we? Want, where do we want it? Nope, okay, never mind. There, there, there. It's something that really doesn't take long, but people often don't bother doing, but it makes such a big difference as nighttime is 10 minutes of the day. So I'm happy that I got it sorted and I made it automated so when the sun sets, the lights come on. I then added lights in my bunker. Now this is cool. I heard the- Oh my god, look at it! We got the glow underneath, that's so cool! Okay, that's gonna- If I get raided, that's gonna give away I have an underwater bit. Oh, look how cool it is! <laughs> that's pretty sick, guys. That is pretty sick. Underwater lights. I have an underwater bunker with underwater lights. Okay, so I'm living in an area that doesn't have much traffic because, well, it's so far away from the fresh spawn and there are no monuments around. So me, the PvP Chad that I am, decided to go on a roam and I left the trap activated. Furnaces aren't going. No, they are. What's that? Is that scrappy? Their actual base isn't that big, is it? They're selling workbench level 1s for 1,000 sulfur and tier 2s for 2,000 sulfur. Who do they think they are? He's dead. Now they have my name. Oh, fuck off, walls. Hopefully they go to check out my... Oh my god, there's another clan there. No C4. Let's wait for them to do whatever they're going to do. I think he's got a rocket launcher on his back. Pump shotgun is the worst gun in the world. It's a long trek, but I'm going back. I wonder if they saw me. Just ran over a horse. Do you live there? Surely not. Fucking wolves! I'm out. I'm out. I'm gunning a new gun. Where was that from? Oh, 
fucking hell. How bad is he? He's got no ammo for the AK. Did I kill the other guy? Yes, I did. Seven rockets, though. They're roaming with no meds. Another three rockets. That was successful. They were bad. That guy had the drop on me and couldn't finish me with the AK with their Python. I drive the caravan home and then something strange happens. Oh fuck. It took me a long time to figure out what had happened, but he actually spawned on one of the beds. I thought I'd cleared all the beds and he took a gun from one of the boxes and killed me. Well played. I waited a little bit and spawned back in the caravan. They had parked it in their base. He didn't clear both beds, only cleared one bed. Shit on. Fuck you, bitches. Ultimately, they won, but it's still funny. Clear beds. I'm going to go counter this other raid. Fuck that shit. This raid isn't important, but it's me dying here and spawning back at base, which is important. Four minutes in that bag. Okay, GG. Nobody has been caught. What? I've been raided? Oh, I just... <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. I left all the doors open. The shotgun, the shotgun trap got him. That was quick defense. I left the doors open. They got trapped. They had to blow the doors. I left every door. All right, guys. Never never leave your base doors open. My, my bad. I fucked up big there. I left every door open. I left every door open. All because I had to quickly get out to fuck that other guy up. I was quickly trying to react to the guy who took my caravan. But obviously he got away and I spawned in the bed there. And then I never got home. And in the meantime, I got raided. They did not loot anything. They did, however, manage to secure the bridge before I got my TC down.
I was going to go mess with that clan now, now that they'd started on me. I deliberately stayed under the radar to avoid being raided, but now they'd attack me, I was going to attack them back. But first, I wanted to raid someone I'd seen new to the area. Two C4 ready. Fuck. I had messed up big time here. I'm an idiot. I hate myself. No, he hasn't jumped in yet. These guys didn't actually have any explosives, but they had a lot of PvP stuff, which was nice. However, my wipe was coming to an end. My last action was going to be messing with the clan and see what I could do to the clan. So I turned my attention to them. Right, we're, we're probing the dragon, guys. Oh, the magic dragon. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to piss this clan off. And if they're offline, ha ha. Well, if they're online, well, then they, they won't have a gate and I'll be dead. Oh, wow. We can get some building proof. Now I need to be careful which bit I break through. Now, I kid you not, this clan had probably 40, 50, 60 turrets. I really don't know. But I'm going to skip the draining of them because it's boring. But I do drain them all. That is yes, sir. Aziz, Jackie's ladders. So that's the way upstairs. That's so they go up and in. This is going to be honeycomb. Honeycomb that's not. Oh, hang on. Hello, motherfucker. I then went home, craft enough rockets to blow into their core, and this is what they had. And guys, as we finish up the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little series with a bridge base. If you want to see me do something similar, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos, and I'm going to be streaming right now as this goes live. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to sub. Left it all open. There's the tool cupboard.
Oh, uh, yeah, two. He's the one that raided me. Yeah, look at them there. I think they're pretty poor. Imagine this wasn't a blue forced wipe. Oh, my God. I'm not going to lie. For a clan, this is quite bad. Yeah, they used the last of the boom on me and then rage quit. 